Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So we got some greasy news about Sasuke Rasuden Chapter 4. Sasuke finally gives the ring to Sakura, the long-awaited ring that a lot of us wanted to see. That she got me hyped up, especially seeing Sakura's reaction. Though her reaction reminded me of Sarada in Chapter 10 of Boruto. Both Sakura and Sarada's eyes light up when they're surprised by a loved one, like mother, like daughter. So the chapter starts off right after Chapter 3 and Sasuke goes to meet Penzilla and asks him about about the book called The Map of the Heavens, in which he says he has no idea. So then Penzilla mentions that it might be in the library catalog, in which they find out it is. So unfortunately for Sasuke and Sakura, the book is in the basement, an area that prisoners cannot access. Penzilla says he has the key, but he can't let them go down, as he says that he will be killed and that he'll get in trouble. So then Sakura comes and tells Penzilla, let's gamble for the key. Penzilla being a gambler, he agrees. Sasuke is worried about Sakura gambling, but then she tells him that she is the apprentice of Lady Sanade, and that she got this. Sasuke thinks to himself that Sanade was a bad gambler. How is Sakura gonna win from having influence from a bad gambler? So then the gamble continues, and Sakura and Penzilla gamble for the key. Penzilla plays Star Lines against Sakura, in which she agrees. Little do Sasuke and Sakura know that the cards they are using are related to the map of the heavens. So then Sakura takes off her clothes. You naughty, naughty. You teasing me, you naughty naughty. <laughs> Not all of her clothes, but her jacket and her shoes. I think she did this on purpose to gain Panzilla's trust. He says that the doctor isn't usually like this, so I think it was to make Panzilla feel more comfortable, or it was to intimidate him. So Sokka faces against Panzilla, and just as soon as Panzilla thought he was about to win, Sokka draws the same cards as him, and it becomes a draw. Then Panzilla says she cheated, in which she tells Panzilla that he can pat her down. But knowing Sasuke, he will not let any of these mans pass Sokka down. We all know that, bro. <laughs> but then getting on, I think she said that to gain his trust since this is all going according to her plan so then penzilla says let's play again and sakura agrees it then reaches five draws and penzilla finally gives up and gives sakura the key once sakura has the key her and sasuke meet at the library at night sasuke questions her and how she won she says she learned it through sanade as she would gamble with her she learned how to feel the cards and play the game this helped her win against penzilla now the cherry on the cake the main course the prime part of the steak the ring scene. When Sakura questions Sasuke how GG is, he says he is fine. This makes Sasuke think back to the moment when GG said to Sasuke, what if some flirt like me started coming around while you were gone? This makes Sasuke feel jealous and worried about what would happen to Sakura if people don't know she belongs to Sasuke. So then to Sakura's surprise, Sasuke grabs Sakura's hand and while holding her hand, he forms a ring. Sakura's eyes light up as she is blushing intensely as this is Sasuke showing his love and affection. Sakura thanks Sasuke and Sasuke being the cool guy he is he turns around and dips as soon as he gives the ring he couldn't let Sakura see his reaction but looking at these scenes Sarada is so much like Sakura the eyes glowing are a dead giveaway and her face later when she kept smiling at the ring Sarada has Sakura smile she acts like Sakura when it comes to people they love so then heading down the stairs Sakura is still flustered about the ring Sasuke asks Sakura a question in which she's too busy thinking about the ring she then snaps out of it so then Sakura notices that there's a secret entrance beyond the wall in the stairs but she says that they will have a look at that later as they have to find the map of the heavens first then eventually they find a book called the map of the heavens and they open it up Sakura seeing the art questions it to be Sai's but she says Sai has never been here they both then say that it had to be the sage of six paths as the oil based painting doesn't exist in Rengaku and only exists in the land of fire so they know they have the right book now the book itself is revealed to be the book of constellations for the stars Sakura says she would need to organize it which will take her two days to organize the constellations and doing all that might lead them to a new clue Sasuke says that that he can count on Sakura for that. Now it gets to the tricky bit. Sasuke says he has seen these images somewhere, but is not too sure where he's seen them. As he mentions that he's seen them somewhere in the past, and not recently. This makes me question if Sasuke in his childhood has seen these images and maybe read a book in the past that had these. Or it may be possible that Itachi may have read them to him since he does say they are familiar. So those images in the book might be something to do with Sasuke's childhood. But now to Sasuke and Sakura's surprise, Sasuke finds a note at the end of the book that says the stars increased and has a leaf logo on it. 
What does this mean? I think it means someone was here before Sasuke and Sakura. And I think that person was Kakashi. As Kakashi was the one who found out the clues of the sage's cure. And I think it was Kakashi who put the Starlands game in the observatory. As Penzilla said, one of the prisoners found the card games sealed like a gift. He knew Sasuke and Sakura were going to come here. And thus, he left all these pieces here to help them with their mission. Kakashi may have read their book, but didn't have time to analyze it. So he left them a note there. Otherwise, who would have left the note there and the cards for the prisoners to find? So I think it was Kakashi. Now, I haven't read the novel, so I'm not sure who would have left the note. I'm going based on assumption here. So getting back to the manga, Sakura gives Sasuke a note secretly in the hall. It tells Sasuke what each constellation means, and Sasuke figures it out that the last two months are constellation of humans. So he knows that these two months will give them a new clue for the ultra particles. And then Sasuke flips the note around, and it has a note from Sakura. It says to meet him in the library at 2 p.m. tomorrow. So to me, it looks like Sakura found out something more about the constellations and she's gonna tell everything to Sasuke in person and possibly she may have went down into that secret door that leads up to the director's office so let's see what happens with that next chapter but overall this chapter was good I really liked it especially the ring scene I knew my boy Sasuke was about that life and I really love the interactions between Sasuke and Sakura me personally I don't mind having romance in some mangas and animes but I think this is a job well done but looking overall in this chapter this chapter heavily relied on Sakura and I think that was good. It showed us that Sakura is not only smart but is a quick thinker and leader in the material. She led Sasuke most of the way with brains while Sasuke was thinking of using tactics like the Sharingan to Wait, so I like the way they focused on Sakura being the open thoughts of Sasuke and saying whatever is on her mind unlike Sasuke who quietly watched as Sakura figured it all out. So that is it for this chapter. Let me know what you guys think of this chapter. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos to come.